schools are not open for students, but they continue to provide resources, and that includes meals. It's a huge effort that is reaching more families every day. The cafeteria at Centennial High School is empty of students right now, but not of workers. We had to pull all of our team members together and uh, sort of band together, so we really appreciate our nutrition staff who have spent a lot of time uh, getting that part organized and being able to deliver food for our students. Hundreds of meals a day are going out to any student who needs one. So it's a bag lunch, it's a grab and go style, and when they come uh, during our time, we give them a lunch and a breakfast for the following morning. The response has been huge. It's an unprecedented time right now in, in what we're doing, uh, and it's gonna be, uh, we just see the need continuing to rise for our district. Uh, as more layoffs and stuff start to surface, we feel like uh, we grew in. Last week we served 300 on our first day, a little over 300, now we're at 675. We just see as the word gets out more and people are more familiar with the service that's available, uh, they'll continue to access it. The program also allows the district to keep more of its hourly employees working. At this point in time, our food, ser food service staff are fully uh, working and working on, we're keeping all of our kitchens open at all sites so that we have a kind of a grab and go location in each of our areas. And just like other districts, including Anoka Hennepin, the district is using help to get food to as many as possible. Different partners are all gonna have to step up. We've been using our our busing partner to help uh, go to two of those remote locations. So they take a bus, we load them up in the morning uh, so they can deliver to certain areas. All so that students who aren't at school still get what they need. Uh, everyone's being asked to kind of work out of their comfort zone, do something a little different. Uh, we really do appreciate that. The district has nearly 7,000 students, meaning it's serving about 10% or more of its enrollment with these free meals. Centennial officials ask you to check its website for more information about new pickup sites. There's similar efforts underway in the Spring Lake Park and Anoka Hennepin school districts. In Spring Lake Park, the district is offering meal pickups at six locations on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And times and locations of meal pickups can be found on each district website again. And any updates we'll try to pass along on NorthMetroTV.com and NorthMetroTV's social media channels.